morning, YouTube. Oh, man. It's like 6.30. Got like 360 miles to go today. We'll be there about 1 o'clock. Got to stop get fuel at some point. Uh, man, that place filled up last night. There wasn't hardly anybody in that parking lot when I parked. People driving late. Mm. And the guy next to me idled all that long. I don't understand the idling. Maybe, he doesn't, maybe his batteries are bad or something. I don't know. Because <coughs> it wasn't hot last night. It was actually pretty cool this morning when I woke up. So be running the air conditioner. Maybe he's in, maybe it was cold. Beats me. But anyway, uh, we're headed to Texas. Let's go. Oh, it is 10 o'clock. And my radio show's over. We're going to stop down here at Lufkin and get some fuel. And I'm going to take a shower. Because I know they're going to send me to Vidor. More than likely or whatever, however you want to say it. Somebody knows, let me know. I've heard it said either way. And then I'm going to probably sit all day the rest of the day. So, yeah, I'm going to get a shower real quick. Go ahead and do that. Uh, somebody said in the comments the other day uh, when I missed my turn in, in Nashville, they said, uh, I was extremely calm about missing my turns. Well, you know, that's what you got to do. You got to keep calm and truck on, you know what I mean? Uh, it just, you can't panic about it. Eventually, you'll get back the way you came. You'll have to turn around or find a different way or, I got a message. You know, you just got to keep calm. No big deal. Just cost you a little out of route but you know especially if when you're on the interstate eventually you're gonna find an overpass that you can go under or go over or turn back and go the other way but uh, usually when you're in a city uh, especially one that big you can uh, you know you can get turned around somewhere or the the road will go you know meet back up somewhere and go around it no big deal but, uh, yeah, you just got to keep calm and truck on. So let's do that. I have done my three S's and gotten fuel. Now, you see this guy in front of me here. Hold on a minute. This guy in front of me, he pulled out from the parking lot the same time I did. So he had to have been taking his break. He goes over and gets in the fuel lane and finally moves up. He doesn't move up, doesn't move up after he gets his fuel. He goes inside, finally moves up, and then goes inside again. Now, I don't know what he was doing to have to go inside three times or twice at least. I don't know why I didn't go in there while he was parked in the parking lot. You get your fuel and you go, man. Holding everybody else up. Let's go. Whatever. We're, we're headed down the road, man. Ready to go. So let's go. And so I am here. We had to pull in this other parking lot. Kind of turn around here. Because we came in in one direction. And their, their driveway is over here. And it, I need to be in this other direction. So we're going to do it this way. That's going to be a lot easier. Here it is. What I'm talking about right there. So much easier. Get our 
stop right here and then I'll go check in and see if we can get unloaded. All right, so we have stopped. Uh, we've done both stops. Oh man, it is hot out there. It's like 94 degrees. God dang. Uh, and I have a pre plan. Guess where we're going? Going to uh, Vidor. I don't, I don't know why it wants me to tarp it. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call my fleet manager and talk to him because I shouldn't have to tarp this thing. We'll see. Yeah. So I got my fleet manager uh, verifying because uh, if I don't have to tarp it, I don't want to tarp it. Shouldn't have to. There's no salts on the road. It's not. None of that crap. So let's go. Oh man, we have made it. And look, there is no one down here in this staging area. Ah, that's all right. Maybe, maybe they won't be so backed up. Maybe I can get keep our fingers crossed. I can get loaded and get the heck up out of here. Or at least get loaded and get sat. Uh, I've got. Uh, yeah, I've only got. Uh, hour forty-seven. Um, drive time left, and I've got another thirty minutes of work time left. So we'll see. Uh, I may just have to sit here. I might be able to get back down to a rest stop or something down the road or whatever, but I don't know. That just depends on how many people are sitting uh, down in the other staging area. But uh, there's a truck over here. You can't see it because it's stinking train. There's a truck over here that way that looks like it's uh, in some peril. So I'll get some video of that maybe. Yay, it's the end of the train. That had some cool graffiti on it. Yeah, see that truck? He's having issues, man. Looks like he got off in that gravel or trying to turn around or whatever, but... He, uh... He didn't go so far. What, I got one coming open. One, there we go. Get on up in there. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, he didn't go so far, uh, that's rough, poor dude, I can bottomed out and all that gravel or something, I don't know, but anyway, I gotta call these guys and find out how long I'm gonna be here, yeah, that sun is bright, uh, I don't see me leaving here tonight, but I see me being able to get off the clock a lot sooner. Last time I didn't get off the clock until, oh man, it was like after 11 o'clock. Uh, tonight it'll be, I'll be able to get off the clock about, what time is it now? Uh, 6.30, something like that. Yeah, 6.30. I should be able to get off the clock by about 8.30, 9 o'clock tonight. And that'll be awesome because that'll mean I can leave by 7.00. Uh, in the morning and be able to deliver this tomorrow instead of Friday morning. So and Maybe they can get me another load uh, And then get me home. We'll see I'll keep you posted well It is uh, 747 I have three people in front of me now uh, I got here Let's see, 617 is when I got here. So, been here almost two hours. It's not too bad for a Vidor. Uh, I'll be here. I mean, I'm going to stay the night here. I, I'm, I'm going to be out of time uh, <clears throat> by the time I get, get uh, loaded up. So, uh, at least we'll be off the clock and uh, be able to leave by 7 in the morning. Uh, and that'll get me to 
that'll get me to Van Buren in time to get unloaded. So, yay. But, uh, that's probably going to be it for tonight. Just getting loaded. I mean, I've showed y'all this load before. Uh, but then again, the last time I said that, uh, <laughs> hit somebody. But I got a pretty straight shot out of here today. Uh, not going to hit anybody today. So, keep them fingers crossed. But uh, I appreciate y'all being here, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.